You boom pineapple wine, you don't look 50 all the time. Film Camp is proud to introduce our first ever talk show. And we're your hosts, Emma and Grace. We're here to introduce all of our guests. Up first is Mark with a slice uh -huh, uh -huh, of the day. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mark, the master of puns and jokes. And I'm here today with a joke. I was, well, actually, I was going to tell you a joke about pizza, but I decided, hey, it's too cheesy. So now, I have a pun. Did you hear about the guy who got the tiger last eye cut off? It's okay. She's all right now. <laughs> all right, and I, d I recently heard in the news about a guy who was running a 100-mile race. But after 98 miles, he decided he was too tired to finish, turned around, and ran back to the starting line. How about those people? Ha ha ha. Uh -huh. <laughs> now back to Emma and Grace. That was Totalaire, LOL. JK, JK. Hey Jacob, what's cooking? I have an American classic prepared today. Eggs and toast, follow me. Well, it's a little bit of a long story, but um, when I was a boy, I played with Play-Doh sometimes in the shape of food, so I thought it can't be that hard in real life. So, we're going to start here <laughs> with an egg. Where did, where did you get these eggs, Jacob? <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, these eggs are uh, rare eggs. They're from a uh, uh, chicken that was actually... Um, Killed months prior. So oh. <laughs> these are some special eggs. So I will crack the egg. There is our egg. Very nice. We will put the eggshell there. Now we'll start on the toast. So what type of eggs are you making, Jacob? Um, eggs that are cooked. Oh, that's a good choice. Yeah, they're they're pretty good if I do say so myself. Um. What? Well, what was the purpose of putting the toast on the, uh, on the, uh, skillet? <laughs> to cook the toast underneath the, uh, sun. Now, uh, how long do you wait before you cook the toast? <laughs> um, well, it, uh, it depends. Once it starts looking like maybe it's starting to rot, then I kind of flip it. Mm. Yeah. It sounds delicious. Yeah, it is. Are we going to get to eat these for breakfast, or are we going to have to wait a while? Oh, it depends if you want to get food poisoning or not, but either time would be okay. Oh. So, um, what happens if you, uh, if you miss the uh, skillet with the egg? Do you just have to start over, or do you just pick it up? Well, it depends. If it's on dirt, then it's okay, but if it's on, like, pavement or grass, then no, no. You usually want to start over at that point. Dirt helps with the flavor. Oh. oh. What so, if the bug flies onto it? 
know, no one's going to notice, probably, so don't talk about it. Isn't it uh, extra protein, too? Some may see it that way. This looks delicious. <laughs> it sure does. So. Cooking with Jacob. <laughs> that looks hashtag toast delish. Yeah, it sure looks excellent. After all that cooking, we're ready for some sports. Yes, indeed. Kyle here has just the thing. All right, let's take a look at some highlights from our latest Rolf match. It is polite. It is. I'm not all right, sure. who wants to see how awful I am, right? You will respect the ancient traditions of Rolf. This is Kyle with Sports, now back to Emma and Grace. That was quite intriguing. Emma, why are you talking all dramatic? Because Dramatic Readings with Tyler Anderson is next. Hi, I'm Tyler Anderson, and welcome to dramatic reading. Exterior, space, dusk. Hi, Tom said romantically. Sup, Ron said enthusiastically. The cold vacuum of space cannot vanquish the fire in our hearts. I agree, said Ron. Let's swim, Tom said as he ran. Hey look, a pineapple. Pineapple. Yeah, pineapple. I love tropical fruits, Ron exclaimed. The pineapple was caught in Earth's full-on gravitational pull and was dragged into the atmosphere, burning up on re-entry. Ron sobbed as the pineapple was burnt up from the speed. Then the pineapple magically appeared before his eyes. And then it blew up. Go die in a hole, you rotten pineapple said Ron. Tom ate the pineapple, even though he loved it. Ew, tastes like burnt pineapple, said Tom. Duh, replied Ron. The duo gorged on burnt pineapple until they died happily. Don't trust pineapples, Morgan Freeman says, as his face fades into the starry landscape of space. Thank you for watching Dramatic Reading with Tyler Anderson. Well, that was interesting. Yes, very. Hey, Grace. Yeah? <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, just getting ready for the Box of Fun segment. Fine, but while that happens, <laughs> I'm going to go clean up. <laughs> You know whose idea it was to come with the box for fun? I don't, but it's been around since I have been a counselor. What is your favorite part of the box for fun? I think my favorite part of the box for fun is the suspense. You get to freak, freak everybody out, make them wait for it. Why did you pick the other Emily G to get the bucket of water? The other Emily and G and I have known each other for a very long time, and I knew that she wouldn't be mad at me if I gave her a bucket of water. Five, four, three, two, one! Oh, bucket of water! Why do you like Music Factory? I like Music Factory because there are so many different aspects to Music Factory. Whether it be songwriting, whether it be making your own music, listening to other people's music, poetry, it, there's just endless possibilities. <clears throat> what is Music Factory? Music Factory is a place where kids can come and express themselves in many different ways. Making beats, writing poetry, once again, um, I see kids get behind the turntables and do things that you wouldn't see them do in normal 
in like an everyday setting. What is one thing that you would change about Music Factory? I wouldn't change much about Music Factory. Uh, if there is one thing that I would add on to it, it would be more of a cultural room to it. Um, I like all different kinds of music, all different countries. You can you can make music from anything, whether it be you just go up to something and drum on something or start screaming in the air, making different types of echoes or splashing waters in different jacks. I would add in way more so. How long have you been doing Music Factory? This is my first year doing Music Factory. Who do you look up to? One person that I look up to who I absolutely enjoy would have to be Lupe Fiasco because I love the music that he writes, how real it can be, how, how I can relate to some of it. I just love his flow. Okay, so I'm here with Chrissy, the Arts Counselor, and my name is Aya, and this is an interview. So, Chrissy, how long have you been doing arts and crafts here at Ingersoll? I have been doing arts and crafts here at Ingersoll for four years. Why did you want to do arts and crafts? I love doing arts and crafts. I do it on my free time. I do it with my kitty camper. I did it with my kitty campers. I've done it a lot. Hi, I'm Johnny Colas, and now it's time for Counselor Fails. Hey, Johnny. Oh, hey Whoa. And there's a Counselor Fail right there. You're going to edit everything that I mistake and what you said, right? We yes. it. Okay. Well, Thank we will. you. Beautiful hair. So beautiful. Obsessed. I'm Emma and I'm Grace. Thank, Thank you for watching the Weekly Fruit with Pineapple.